Imagine if you have an intermediate representation, like the IRs that we have that exist today. So all the different intermediate representations, LLVM, MLIR, abstract syntax trees, program derived semantics graph, uh, CAS, simplified parse tree. Here's, here's some of the fun ones, right? That we talked about in this lecture. All of those are built to my knowledge today, based on rules that exist that explain how to build those IRs. Principally, the reason why those rules exist is you're gonna follow those rules and then you're gonna get the resulting thing that you're trying to build. The abstract syntax tree in this case, or the simplified parse tree in this case, you're just gonna follow those rules. Now imagine that you had a new IR type that is super powerful, but turns out there are no rules that are gonna get you there. And instead they have to be learned. Much like how we're using machine learning to do object identification in images or video. Like, oh, that's a dog. Why do we do that? Well, it's very ambiguous, super nuanced, and hard for us to come up with the precise rules to say, oh, that's a dog. It's not super clear. Otherwise, we would have just used rules for it. There's a lot of things in the world that are also of that similar space. So one of the ideas in this, and again, this is like, we're, we're on the bleeding edge of science here. To my knowledge, this does not exist yet. Maybe it does, but when we wrote the PSG paper uh, in 2020, or that's maybe when we presented it at NeurIPS, I don't think this existed. So I think it's possible that some of the future IRs like PSG will be these abstractions that capture notions that are really powerful that we have a very hard time articulating as precise rules. Maybe those rules can exist at some point, but we don't know how to define them yet. And so instead we're going to use an AI system that's somehow going to learn how to do this. And then the AI system will do the transformation for us. 